Columbine, Sandy Hook, Parkland. These are but a few of the names that are indelibly etched into our collective memory. The senseless attacks and loss of lives at many of our nation's educational institutions are changing the way we need to look at preparedness and school security. In Selma, Alabama, the glass experts at Global Security Glazing have developed Child Guard Security Glazing, a product that withstands extensive physical attack during forced entry scenarios at schools. I'm Chad Snyder, the Security Products Manager for Global Security Glazing. We manufacture products for county jails, embassies, courthouses, and virtually any application that require protection from a threat. The inspiration for Child Guard came from the tragedy that happened in Sandy Hook in 2012. Once that happened, we recognized a need for a security glazing in a child care or a school facility. The process for making Child Guard security laminates is very similar to conventional glass laminates in the sense that we receive giant stock sheets of glass. We take this, we put it on a CNC glass cutting table, we cut it to a desired shape or size, whether that be a rectangle, square, or pattern shape. After the glass is cut, it's mated to a proprietary interlayer and then inserted between two or more pieces of glass. This glass sandwich is then put into an autoclave, which is a high-powered machine that uses heat and pressure to bond all the layers of glass as well as help with transparency. We're here at one of our many autoclaves. Right now, the glass is going into the autoclave to use heat and pressure to initialize polymer flow and have final adhesion and final transparency. This is an example of child guard security glazing. It's actually thin by design. We can combine that with various tints and an airspace with a low emissive coating to reflect the sunlight and give the building some solar performance and characteristics. When we promote this product, we do it by way of, of shootings, smash out breakouts, different ways that we can show how the product actually works. In this first test, we're gonna depict what exactly happens to quarter inch tempered commercial glazing and how easy it is to gain access and entrance. As you can see, the bullets penetrated the surface, but you could still easily gain access by creating a hole in the tempered glazing, which will allow you to pass through into the building. The results weren't that different with the quarter inch tempered with offset film. Now we're gonna see how Child Guard 5 16 laminated glass fares in an attack test. As you can see with ballistic impact, the glass is still intact and has not fell out of the frame. The 916th Child Guard 2118 laminated glass withstood the ballistic assault with ease. After being shot with a high-powered rifle, Chad and Tim bring the 516th and 916th glass inside so they can continue to demonstrate just how resistant the Child Guard glass truly is during a forced entry scenario. Between the bullets and the melee attack, this child guard held up very well. It's a true testament to the strength of this glass. Delayed entry is critical in preventing school attacks. Most fatal attacks in a school situation involve an active shooter that gains access to the school by going in right through the front door. Child guard security glazing is manufactured to withstand physical attack for anywhere from six to 12 minutes, depending on the grade and the thickness that we use for the application. The idea behind it is at least six minutes gives law enforcement enough time to arrive on the scene and eliminate the threat. For more information on child guard security glazing, check out their website at www.security-glazing.com.